Hey guys, what is going on? Booster Kings here with another Pokemon video, and in today's video, I am going to show you my top 10 most expensive Pokemon cards I own. Now, the prices are coming from a few different sources, one from eBay and the other one from TCG Player. Now, there is a market value and a medium price value. I've kind of chosen in the middle, both of those values, and then converted to Australian dollars, which we are going to coincide with eBay and then get our final value because obviously everything sells for a different price. Now we're just doing the 2020 value of right now. And without further ado, let's get into this video. I can't wait to show you guys what is number 10. So number 10 is the Charizard EX Full Art from Flash Fire. Now these range in value from around $70 Australian to around $110 Australian. The most recent one sold for around $100 Australian, which is a perfect value for this card. So that's the value that we're going to give it. A PSA 10, Gem Mint 10, one of these has sold on eBay for $1,460. That's absolutely insane. But yeah, so that's just the value of the cards when you can get them graded. So as number 10, it is Charizard EX Full Art from Flashfire. So coming in at number nine for my most expensive Pokemon cards that I own of 2020 is none other than the Russia Ram Gold card from Legendary Treasures. Look at that beauty. So this Russia Ram is valued on TCG Player for around $96 Australian or $70 US and it is selling for around $110 on eBay as the recent sales have been as of lately. And check out that card. That is so awesome, guys. Absolutely love that card. It's, uh, it's one of my favorites and that's why I keep it in one of my favorite binders. But in saying that, these cards are skyrocketing in price as of lately with the recent boom in the Pokemon card community. So that is why this one is number nine on my list. Let's get to number eight. So number eight on my list of my most expensive Pokemon cards that I own of 2020 is none other than the Call of Legends Lugia Shiny card. Now this one is a expensive card. It ranges from that $100 mark to around $130 mark. That's why I've chosen a couple different platforms to gain the values from. You really can't tell from many websites. So that's why this one has made number eight. It would be a little bit higher, but just the sales as of recently aren't crazy. I can guarantee you this card will go up in value very, very soon with the recent boom. But yeah, that's why Shiny Lugia from Call of Legends has made number eight on my list. Valued at around $120 Australian. Now, at number seven, on my list, we have Zekrom as well for the Legendary Treasures Gold Card range. So this one is ranging from $150 is the recent sale price on eBay and around $130 on TCG Player. Now this one is an absolute beauty. I got both of them at the same time. I'm going to keep them for a long time to come because they are some of my favorite cards in my collection. So that's why this is made number seven on my, my list. So number six on my list, and this one is in the same category as number seven, the Zekrom. So it is a Venusaur from base set right here. So this Venusaur is worth around $150 Australian as well as the Zekrom is. They could have been vice versa, but because this is a bit older and it is a bit more valuable just because it's from base set, that's why I put it as number six on my list. And you're looking at around $130 to $160 for this card, depending on obviously how well it is in shape, and this one is in great condition, and how well it is um, centered, and how well it'll grade. Obviously different grades get better values, so that's why this one is number six on my list, if not the same as number seven. So, we have hit the halfway point. We are at number five, and this one is a big one, because these at their best grades go for several of thousands of dollars. We have none other than Rayquaza from Call of Legends, the shiny collection one. Oh, this is such a beautiful card. I did pull this in one of my videos. It's got a bit of whitening over there, but this one is worth a bucket load of money. They're selling on eBay a Gem Mint 10 one has already sold for upwards of $3,600, which is just absolutely mind blowing. 
But in saying that, these are sitting at around that $150 to $160 mark of Australian dollars ungraded. They can go for more, they can go for a little less, just depending on what time and where you get it from, how many is on the market and how many are actually selling at that time. If there's none selling, they're gonna sell for a lot lower than if heaps are selling and no one's really selling them. So that is why this one has made number five on my list. So at number four on my list of most expensive Pokemon cards of 2020 in my collection, we have none other than the Charizard Holo from EX Power Keepers. Now I did pull this one before I started collecting obviously, but I did get this one myself so it is pulled by me and I absolutely love the fact about that. That's why I'm never ever getting rid of this one. Now this one ranges from prices from around about $100 Australian to upwards of $300 just because of the range. The recent ones have sold for around $200 just above that and graded ones have sold for around $400 plus. But this card as well as all the other Charizards in the Pokemon card world are just skyrocketing in value and they're going so high and it's absolutely amazing seeing everyone come together because this magical dragon lizard is absolutely amazing. But yeah, that's why this one has made number four on my list. So at number three on my list, we have none other than Melodic EX from EX Emerald back in 2005. This is one of my favorite, if not my favorite Pokemon card that I have pulled on this channel. We pulled it for our 25,000 subscriber special. Absolutely amazing video. Go check it out if you guys haven't already. And we got this Melodic EX from EX Emerald. It is worth from multiple different sources. They have sold graded for around 700 to 1,000. The PSA 9 sold for 1,200. These are, these are going insane in value. Some of them ungraded are selling for about 200. The market value is around about $280 Australian, which is absolutely insane. So I'm gonna put this card valued at around $250 ungraded and graded around about a thousand dollars because this is absolutely perfect this card we got this right here right here in the studio which was absolutely amazing but yeah that's why this one has made number three on my list and at number two we have none other than the man the myth the legend a base set holo charizard from base set unlimited now i did buy this one for around eight dollars back five or six years ago back a little while ago but it's not the best condition but these are still just climbing and climbing and climbing in value and if you guys have one of these tucked underneath your bed in a shoebox somewhere in just archives of archives of boxes please, please, please get them out. Take care of them because they are worth upwards of $300. Depending on the quality of the card, the grade of the card, it can be worth thousands of dollars, upwards of thousands of dollars. If you get a graded one of these, it could be worth about $2,000. This one, I would dare say it would be worth about $100 just because of the condition itself. But any, any sort of unlimited Charizard is worth around $300 to $500, just depending on the value. And that's why this has made number two on my list. And just before we get to number one, I wanted to throw in some honorable mentions. And we have these Charizard cards. And these are worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Not, it, it, the value of them is very, very scattered at the moment. You got the Mega Charizard EX from Evolutions right there. We got the Generations Charizard that's worth around $40. We got the Mega Charizard EX from Flash Fire, that's the X version right there. And that's worth about $60 to $70. We got the Y version, that's worth around $50. And then we got this card, which is confusing to me because I saw these sell on eBay for around $200, which I, d I don't understand why. But then on TCG Player, they're around $50, which it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. So that's why this hasn't made the list or it would have been midway through the list. But that's why this has made honorable mentions for these cards. 
Guys, if you have any of these cards that I'm talking about right now, just save them aside, put them in a top loader, put, put, them, put them to the side because they're going to be worth some money in the near future. And guys, we have finally made it to number one on my list of my top 10 most expensive Pokemon cards I own of 2020. And it is none other than Umbreon EX from Unseen Forces. Now this is going back to 2005 in the middle of the EX era. Now we have this Umbreon EX that I actually purchased for around about $40 a couple of years ago just because Umbreon is my favorite Pokemon and that's why I actually bought this card. Not because of the value of it, I didn't care about the value. It's just an absolutely amazing card. And now this card is an absolute, it, it's probably, it's probably a, a, a nine, if not a 10. It's just absolutely perfect. There are no scratches on it whatsoever. There is a big swell there, if you guys can see that one. And this card is an absolute gem. Now these range from around $400 just for it not graded to around about as a re as recently as $531 they have sold for a PSA 9 which this can this is easily absolutely easily a 9 has sold for $1000 on the dot 999 it has sold for so this is easily a $1000 card if not more because they are just going up in value that was sold a little while ago, and these are absolutely amazing cards. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you guys in my next Pokemon video. Peace out, guys.